A person of faith. In our day and age, the word a person of faith is used frequently in everyday conversation. It's a term in our current culture. But what does it actually signify when taken into consideration? In point of fact, there is not a single person on this entire planet who is not a person of faith. Everyone has faith in at least one thing. It may be faith in our personal sufficiency. It could be faith in our personal appearance. It could be faith in our financial security. It could be faith maybe in our careers. And I could name many more examples. However, what really matters though is this. Does our faith lead to salvation and heaven? Or does it lead to damnation? It is perhaps the most profound and important question anyone can ask in life. It is truly a life altering issue that we must for eternity's sake ask ourselves. Is an abundance of life what we receive as a result of our faith? Or is it merely a shell, a facade and a means of survival and existence? You see, we grow accustomed to what we have. And that really is the greatest of dangers that we face. The founder of Buddhism, a guy by the name of Siddhartha, once said this, health is the most precious gain and contentment, the greatest wealth. Pity that, because unfortunately, like so many who in the wild, wild west believe they had made it rich when mining for gold, only discovered that it was fool's gold. And so it is with that statement. Let us announce who we truly are and not hide behind the expression or mask of a person of faith. If we are Christians, then let us declare that we are. And if we are not, then don't declare that but declare that we are not Christians. Don't let's hide behind the expression, a person of faith. We all have a purpose to fulfill as his children, if we are privileged to be that. And the only way we will ever have a chance of being successful in carrying out his will during our brief sojourn here on earth is to strip away the veneers and alter egos we have created for ourselves. We hope that something that's been said this morning will have touched your heart, maybe got you to think. And if so, we'll ask you to get in touch with us here at Worldwide Christian Ministries or visit our YouTube channel. The YouTube channel can be found at www.youtube.com backslash C backslash Albert M. Martin WWCM. And you will learn so much there. Worldwide Christian Ministries can help you discover a life-saving, life-changing and transforming faith. Or you may like to visit our website at www.worldwidechristianministries.org and we look forward to hearing from you and we'll pray along with you when we do. So as I conclude, let me say God bless you in the coming week in your journey of faith. And would you please honour us by, if you go to our YouTube channel, hitting the subscribe button, pushing the notification bell, and then you'll get extra notifications when we put something else onto YouTube. And do visit our website. And so I say to you for the coming week, God bless you in your journey of faith. Amen.